let's draw this poly bracket in front of us. We're gonna go new there. Eh? We go metric, standards, millimeters, and then we go create. Since our dimensions are in millimeters, we're gonna go with our first rectangle. So there is our first rectangle. Then there is our second one. After that, we're gonna go for the third rectangle. So there you go. And then the fourth one. There you go. We'll draw this line here. Okay, it's gonna be our axis. You see how we're gonna use it. Then we're gonna draw this rectangle as well. And this other line. Up to there. You have now the frame of your pulley bracket. The next thing that you want is to give dimensions. So from there to there, you need to have 30 millimeters okay and uh, from there to there you need to have six millimeters once you have those ones in place what you want now is to make sure that from there to there you have 60 millimeters okay and now from here today you need to have 40 millimeters 40 okay it's gonna grow up there don't worry and now from here today you need to have 75 millimeters there we go now you have that 60 in the between and again, from the to there, you need to have nine millimeters, so nine. And from the to there, you need to have six millimeters, so that is six. That's good enough for me. Now, you need to make sure that from here to there, you have eight millimeters, so eight. And from there to there, you need to have 13 millimeters so 13 from the today you need to have five millimeters so that is five that is okay with me all right just to avoid complication you need to make this one here bigger let's go up to there good so now that you have the dimensions of oh so you need to not forget about this so this one here need to be 10 millimeters so that need to be 10 good and this one here need to be six millimeters so put six there great now do that you have all of this you can then give shape to your Poly bracket. So you're gonna come on to the model there. You say extrude. You're gonna start by extruding this part here. So this one and that one and this one. You need to extrude it by 72 millimeters. So 72 millimeters. Great. After that, you're gonna come here on sketch. You right click on your mouse, you say visibility then you go on 3d model again you click on extrude you need to extrude this part here by 10 millimeters so 10 millimeters done that's okay again you click on extrude you come and extrude this part okay you need to extrude this part by 30 millimeters to three zero now you have it happy good next thing is you come here you click on revolve you need now to revolve this part here so this part against that axis so you have it okay but now you have that material there you say first okay now you need to cut to make sure that you have a full hold there so you click on resolve again so on revolve again then you select this whole part here okay this whole thing against this axis 
Now you cutting the material, you go there, you cut it. So you see, you have a full hole. Then you say, okay. Next thing that you want now is to remove the visibility. So you're gonna sketch, you say visibility off. Now visibility is off. So you need to have those fillets there. So you can come back here, you click there, you click on fillets, okay. You come back this side again, you come this side again, you click on there with a radius of 15 millimeters so 15 done you say okay now you need to have those two holes okay so you're gonna come back here you click there you say new, uh, new sketch okay now you're gonna draw your two holes so the first one and the second one you need to make sure that from there to there, you have 48 millimeters. So they need to be 48 millimeters apart. And from here to there, you need to make sure that it's 12. 12 each side. It's uh, each side, sorry. And uh, that's one need to be 12. Which implies that this one is 12 as well. So 12. Okay. And now make sure that from there to there, you have. 12 millimeters as well. So you say 12. So I'm assuming that is 12, not so 12. Okay. Now you need to breathe the hole. So you're going to extrude. You're going to extrude. You come on your sketch, you click on that one, and you click on the circle as well. Okay. So you cut it. You can see already it's cutting. Then you say okay creating those two roundness you come back here you click on the fillet you click on the fillet then you say 12 millimeter radius okay okay now you can see that you have your pulley brackets properly done the if an easy way of doing it so what you can do now is to give uh, your material so what what you can give it is uh, maybe carbon steel if you don't like it you can go with uh, cast iron where is cast iron uh, cast iron there you go so it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you're gonna enjoy it for now i'm gonna ask you to take care of yourself please don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and if you want to be our exclusive member, don't forget to join the join button. So see you on the next video. Bye.